Did I scare you? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be more festive. Usually, I'm not the festive person when it comes to holidays. Like for Halloween, I'm the type to not dress up. I don't even give out candy. I love putting the sign on the door because I'm like the Halloween Grinch where I love seeing people's misery when they see the note on the door and they walk away very sad and I'm just like, <laughs> But I'm getting older and I told myself that I might as well be more festive because we only live once and these only come once a year. <laughs> and I just wanted to just, you know, be in the holiday spirit. So I thought in this episode of Reacting to Scary Animations, we can check out three stories of people who are not having a great Halloween. Just so we can feel a little bit better about ourselves. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! Thank God I'm not just wearing the robe today. Usually I wear the robe and just the robe. But it's actually getting hot in here, so I'm gonna take this off and we are we're gonna get this started. First video of today's episode comes from Martin Animations. This is a scary Halloween story, so let's get My cousin on. Ethan and I grew up together, but I never liked him very much. His family was rich, so he always had the best stuff. Mine wasn't, and I didn't. On Stop Halloween being petty, of 1985, my guy. we were going trick-or-treating together. I was the Terminator. Okay. He was Freddy Krueger. His mask cost almost $100. $100? And it looked exactly like Freddy's face. You paid $100 for that mask in 1985? You got scammed, my boy! The scars, the sneers, everything was just right. I didn't have a mask. My parents couldn't afford one. You had I had torn aluminum though. foil taped to the side of my face. It was meant to look like the Terminator after some skin had been ripped off. A few splotches of ketchup on the foil were supposed to look like blood. As soon as it dried, it looked very little like dried blood and very much like dried ketchup. Despite my terrible costume, I was still excited to trick or treat. We didn't have candy very often at home, except maybe on Easter. My parents encouraged what? me to go to as many houses as I wanted Yo, to get all the candy I would be able to eat. How tall is your mom? It felt good to know they wanted well, me to be happy. Well, how short are you? Ethan and I went out at sundown and visited house after house. That does not even look like Freddy Krueger. That looks like his uh <laughs> Oh man, I was gonna make a joke, but I laughed at my own joke. I was gonna say that looks like his ugly cousin, Larry Cougar, but I couldn't even get it out. Oh man, what the hell, Jay? Come on, let's just mo let's just move past. Every this. time the homeowners would gush over Ethan's mask, they would tell him how scary it was, how realistic. Then they would turn to me and ask me who I was supposed to be. I would answer, and then they would say something like, "Oh, of course. How could I have missed it?" I could tell they felt sorry for me. One even handed me a few extra pieces of candy. When we were done, our pillowcases were stuffed with treats of every sort. That's all it is. I mean, it doesn't matter if your costume is wacky as shit as long as you got the bag, right? You secure the candy the long bag? We walk back home. As we went, Mission Ethan rooted around his bag of loot. I could hear him grumbling and complaining through his mask. Then he started throwing candy on the street, stuff he didn't like. Go ahead and pick it up if you want it, Bill. I know you can't afford to let anything go to waste. Shut the fuck up! He called out, heaving handful after handful into the gutter. I didn't say anything, but I reached into my pocket and pulled out a lighter and two cigarettes I had stolen from my dad. Whoa, I had been badass. smoking on and off for the last few months. Even at 13, I knew it was bad for me. I just didn't care. It made me feel good. I stayed a few steps behind Ethan as he tossed more candy away. As much as I hated myself for it, I ended up picking up a few pieces off the ground and putting them in my bag. Ethan caught me once and laughed. <laughs> You're gonna be as fat as your mom if you eat all that. Oh, I kept my mouth shut. Is that why she got fired from the restaurant? Did she eat a customer's food? I knew Ethan was joking, wants to die. as he did often. I'm sure in his mind he thought he was being harmless and playful. Still, I told him more than a few times to leave my mom out of the jokes. Exactly. She had diabetes, and she hadn't mentioned it to anyone other than my dad and me. That's fucked But the up. doctor told her that she might end up losing her foot. That's why the restaurant had to let her go. She couldn't walk around and wait tables anymore. Change the subject, Ethan, I said. I knew he heard me. He said this shot unloaded. And he didn't unloaded. talk for another minute or so until he did again. Hey, 
You think her and your dad still fuck? What? Aye, 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 in the aye, actual aye, aye, aye. ass. I think this man's gonna die. We're halfway through the story, but I think this man's gonna die. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Promise. I seethed as Yikes. we took a shortcut through the elementary school soccer field. Let's stop here for a minute. Ethan said. We had gotten to the school's playground. I bet I could scare the shit out of some kids if they come by. He sat on one of the swings, with his pillowcase on his lap. He kicked his legs, and the swing moved back and forth. I stood there, hating him. I think I see some kids coming over the hill, I told Ethan. I'm going to hide behind the slide, and sneak up on them if they come over to you. Go for it. Ethan told me, his voice deep and distorted through the mask. This narrator sounds so sleepy. I left Ethan on the swing set and walked like over to yawn. the slide. I think I'm about to. I watched him on the swing, as his hateful words rang in my mm, ears. You well. Tears came to my eyes, as I remembered my mom smiling from her spot on the couch. Fuck, as she that's encouraged murder me eyes. to go out and have fun. She was such a good person. She never said anything negative about Ethan. In fact, she always complimented him on his grades and his wins in basketball and even his looks. You're going to be a handsome man someday, Ethan. Shout out Terminator Kids Mom. All my homies love Terminator Kids Mom. I bet we'll see your face in a magazine someday. Yeah, for biggest ugly bitch ever. Even after her kindness, Ethan still felt it was okay to trash her. I heard him laughing to himself across the playground. I didn't know why exactly. Bro, but I thought he's I had so a pretty funny, good huh? idea. I reached in my jacket pocket for another cigarette, knowing a smoke would calm me down. But it had come apart. My pocket was full of loose tobacco and paper, and the lighter. Ethan was still laughing as I fingered the lighter in my pocket for a second. Then I pulled it out. I walked up behind him. Ethan didn't know I was there as he shouted. Okay, one more thing and I'll never say anything about her again. Bro, do you not feel his hot ass breath down your nasty neck? But unless your dad's got a big dick, what? He'll never manage to. Okay, I light him up. Near light the back this fool of Ethan's up. Neck, oh my right god, he's hair and the mask met. The, mom, bro. the hair went up quickly, using his hairspray as an accelerant. Then something happened I didn't expect. What? The mask burst into flames. Oh shit. Ethan jumped off the swing and ran in a loose circle trying to pull the mask off his head. <laughs> I saw it ripping under his fingers. He couldn't get a grip. The material bubbled. His screams barely muffled as the molten chemicals clung to his skin, Holy echoing shit. off the brick walls of the elementary school. That sound effect. Come on, bro. After a few seconds, he fell and rolled around on the playground, pushing his head into the sand <gasps> to try to put out the oh, fire. Oh shit, I thought he got beheaded. He succeeded. But the damage was done. It looks like he it, right? turned over on his back, no longer screaming, but gasping and shallow hyperventilated breaths. In the moonlight, I saw the mask was completely fused to what remained of his skin. One of his eyes had completely burst, but his other darted around, almost like he was confused and wondering where he was. I saw wow. something moving on the other side of the field. Kids were coming. I yelled to them to call an ambulance, and I waited, unsure of how I felt. What? Come on! It's 1985! It's 1985! Unless this person is a time traveler, what are you doing with that thing? They had telephones that looked like this in 1985. What are you doing with a fully blown iPhone 12? Look, I'm a big fan of holes, plot holes especially, but come on. Cell phone 1985? Really? Really? I took complete responsibility for setting Ethan on fire. You better. I said I had been sneaking up to scare him by flicking the lighter near his face. I would act like yes, I wasn't even there. I got into a lot of trouble, but everyone believed it was an accident. Ethan's face was destroyed. He had skin grafts and bone grafts. Freddy Krueger for real. All reconstructive surgery, but he never recovered, not physically or emotionally. He killed himself in 1990. Jesus Christ. Now I feel... Damn, I was roasting that guy. His parents held a very expensive funeral. Oy. I was invited. They had forgiven me for my part in his accident years before. In fact, their subsequent lawsuit against the mask company is the reason why Halloween masks are now made with flame retardant materials. Really? My mom died a few years before Ethan, but not before complications from her diabetes took her left leg. Dad and I were with her in the hospital. At the same time, Ethan's parents were there to see him through another round of reconstructive surgery. 
They visited mom, dad, and I while Ethan was still under, recovering after a successful set of grafts. We chatted for a while about mom's hopes for recovery, and then the topic moved to Ethan. Ethan's mom was gushing about how a plastic surgeon had recently joined the hospital after working in Switzerland. He was the best, apparently. He had taken on Ethan's case earlier in the year, albeit remotely. He wrote a substantial article about the new techniques he would be employing. In the world of plastic surgery, it made a big splash, if only for its ambition. Ethan's mom reached into her purse and pulled out the publication. She flipped it open to the page that showed various photographs of Ethan's burns, along with notes and explanations the doctor had written to accompany the article. I could tell mom was holding back tears. I knew why, too. Her eyes met mine, and she couldn't hold back any longer. Wait, is this story real? I gotta look this up after the story ends. She began to weep. Dad and Ethan's mother held her while she cried. I just watched. Mom was thinking that she had been right all those years ago. She had been right for all the wrong reasons, but right nonetheless. Just like she had predicted, Ethan's face had finally made it into a magazine. Oh! Oh shit, that's creepy. That I gave it a chills that kill! So she predicted that he would be in a magazine one day, but didn't say it was going to be good or bad. But hey, I got to see if that was true. I got to type in like 1985 Halloween mask, Liddy on my titties fire, some shit like that. Like, I got to figure out if this was true. I typed in, did Halloween mask change after 1985 after kid lit on fire? I don't even think Google understood what I was even trying to say. But only results popping up are Michael Myers, William Shatner face. So, I'm just gonna assume that this story wasn't real, but all of you in the comments always find everything out. That's why the internet is undefeated. So, if it's true, let me know in the comments. Next Halloween story of today's episode comes from IMR Scary Tales. They've low-key been my favorite scary animation channel to react to lately. So, let's see what happens. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Oh, they got my favorite I narrator. I get to dress however I want without hey, anyone Hey, my judging. boy clapping in cheeks! Them Halloween cheeks! Me and party it up with people just as excited about the holiday as I am. That girl don't really look that excited. I'm not even gonna lie to you. What's not to love? There's this one Halloween party I go to every year at a friend's place. Oh, my bad. The party starts the my moment bad. the sun sets on Halloween my bad, cool and guy. doesn't stop until well into the following morning. <laughs> this particular bad, year cool was no different. I got dressed up in my trusty black cape and red waistcoat to match with my girlfriend's black dress and red corset. We helped each other make sure that our fangs were nice and shiny. <laughs> Two we got up to for show the them off once a year. Why am I smiling so, so hard? we wanted to make sure they were pearly white as we scared the trick-or-treating kids with them. It was well after sunset by the time my girlfriend and I arrived at the party. There we saw some of the same familiar faces we'd been seeing since forever. Why does the girlfriend look so goddamn evil? Sorry, just had to say that. Ever. Ghouls. Bro, that's a real alien. Somebody ID this fool. That's not even the same species. That's not a costume. That's a realistic the alien. Goblins and all matters of creatures that went bump in the night. Ain't no way that's a costume. To have a good time, chatting amongst themselves and helping themselves to snacks and refreshments arranged by the very what gracious the werewolf host. Not there was seen one all, face man. I didn't recognize though. A disheveled young man stood in a lonely corner of the party, watching everyone else enjoying the party with burning contempt. Biting his bottom lip too. He's like his mm. costume, if you could even call it, mm. was just a white t-shirt with some blood stains on it and a black trench coat that made him look like a Matrix reject. Lazy ass. As much as I loved talking to my old friends, the stranger had me curious. Rarely did we ever get new faces at our little annual celebration. If they weren't invited, they were trespassing on private property. And something about the young man's clear disdain for everyone there made me think the latter was far more likely. While my girlfriend caught up with some witches and fairies, I approached the stranger to make <laughs> That's a That's a real talk. alien. Hey, that bitch came straight out of Area 51. With a smile. How are you enjoying the party? It sucks. He replied <laughs> in an instant, just like everything else in this shithole of a world. Oh crap! Hey, there's no shame in sucking. <laughs> I flashed him a smile that showed off my pristine white fangs that I made sure looked extra sharp for the occasion. The young man didn't laugh at my joke. He just grunted and turned his gaze towards some sexy demon girls dancing to Boris Karloff's Monster Mash. Look at those, he said, showing off their bodies like bitches in heat, just to be a tease to men they know they'd never date. Whores like them deserve to rot in hell for never giving average men who aren't goddamn models 
like you a chance. Who hurt this man? Can somebody please tell me who hurt this man? Like, who hurt this man? Hello? Police? Who hurt this man? It was at that moment that I realized I was talking to, as the kids call them these days, an incel. More commonly known as a total prick. <laughs> Even more commonly known as a douchebag. You don't really mince words now, do you? Why should I? The young man's gaze shifted back to me. Why should I care about hurting their feelings when women like them never cared about mine? Like women I said, somebody hurt this man. Deep, they deep use cuts. nice guys like me only to cuck us for chads who won the genetic lottery, like you. You do realize you sound like a complete wanker right now, yes? What did he call him? It doesn't matter. Nothing will matter soon enough. A police car passed by the house, its blaring siren briefly lighting the window beside us with red and blue lights. It was accompanied by the sound of a panicked police making an announcement through his car's mounted megaphone. Citizens be warned, an active shooter has passed through this area. Stay indoors and lock your doors until the shooter has been apprehended. The warning echoed over and over all throughout the street. For the first time since I met him, the young man smiled. I abruptly realized that he had his hands in his trench coat the entire time we were talking. I mean, I could have predicted that. As soon as they showed this man just standing there menacingly at the back of the party, I was like, he's going to do something weird. He's You're gonna do something to so realize weird. who I am now, aren't you? At that moment, my girlfriend finished catching up with her friends and came back to me. The young man's eyes widened in impotent anger upon seeing my oh, girlfriend shit. approach. Being as beautiful as she was with that form-fitting corset on, she looked exactly like the kind of woman the young man hated for their reluctance to sleep with him. Oh crap! Hey, love, who's your new? Before my girlfriend could finish her sentence, the young man pulled a revolver oh, out of his coat shit! and shot her. The bullet hit her right on the forehead, oh, and she was knocked fuck. backwards onto the ground by the impact. The young man oh. let out a cackling laugh. <laughs> You're all so fucking dead. I have to say something real quick. I reacted to an animation a couple months ago where somebody died in animation, and then apparently the video got demonetized, so I don't even know what I should do right now. Cause that is seriously messed up. Dome shot? Headshot? He shot. cried to everyone at the Girl party got scullied. who had stopped what they were doing to look at him. I'm going to murder all you fuckers and the world will finally know what happens to pieces of shit like you who look down on people like me. Bro. He let out another lengthy evil laugh that grated on the ears. He only stopped when he realized someone else was laughing alongside him. <laughs> oh man, you're right. What the actual fuck? Said my girlfriend as she picked she herself up. She got three eyes on her head. Is she still alive? She had a tiny skin deep scratch on her forehead where he'd shot her, which quickly healed as if it were never there. The fuck? The young man turned the revolver towards me instead and let loose the five remaining bullets into my chest. I felt bullets slam against my chest and a bit of break skin, but it was nowhere near strong enough to knock me down. What is happening? Well, what, what, what in the, what in the actual fuck is happening? I, I just, I, 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 I mean, I don't have regenerative healing, you know, like, I, I can't do that. If somebody puts five bullets in me, I'm onto my next life, you know, I might just reincarnate into a butterfly or something, but these people are just eating bullets, eating bullets like it's nachos at a party, at this really? party. I said half joking and half genuinely upset. This has been my favorite shirt for like, a century and you just had to ruin it. Oh my. The entire party erupted in laughter. I knew that was a it's real good alien. To know that there'll always be people out there. Yeah, and that werewolf got some kissable lips though. Chill. How did you? Before the man could finish his question, I calmly grabbed the wrist of his gun hand and squeezed it. His bones snapped like dried twigs within my grip, and his revolver clattered onto the floor. He screamed in pain with tears in his eyes until I let go of him. He stumbled backwards and leaned against the wall to support himself as he cradled his shattered wrist. You'd have better luck killing me with a 2B pencil mate, I told him. He looked up at me, and I could only see fear in his teary eyes with all the bravado caused by his homicidal hatred gone from his face. You're really not that bright, are you? I almost pitied the poor fool at that point. Key word being almost. You brought a bloody six-shooter to kill a house full of people. What were you going to do afterwards? Pistol whip us all to death? 
people in the party laughed. It felt nice to have a good crowd. Yo, Dracula's More, hilarious, bro. <laughs> I gestured to the rest of the party guests. What is happening? And devils and what in the actual fook is happening? Don't you think these costumes are a little too realistic? That alien I've one. I've seen a lot in my time, but that look of dawning comprehension on his horrified face is a memory that'll bring a smile to my face for centuries to come. He tried to make a run for it, but the moment his back left the wall, I slapped him across the, face with the back of my hand. Bro got bitch slapped, and look how much blood is on his face. His entire jaw Holy came off at shit. The end, and he crumpled to his knees, crying and gargling on his own delicious blood. I sometimes forget how fragile humans are. He attempted to scramble towards the door on his knees and one good hand, only for the werewolf host to bring his clawed foot down on his ankle. What in the world happened to this story? I think he tried to beg for his life. Or maybe he was crying for help. It was hard to tell what he was trying to say without a jaw. We all ate well that Halloween night. Wow. Just wow. I'm not even going to say what a twist like I usually do because the animation was great, but the story, that was just... I just... I'm almost speechless, but the fact that I'm talking right now means I'm not speechless, so I don't even know. I I'm in a weird mood right now where I just don't understand. Last video of today's episode is called Guest. It's a short, scary film. Uh, let's get in the mood. Speaking of getting in the mood, hey, what kind of mood are we talking about over here? Is it rated G? Whoa. Might be rated X. I don't know. She's kind of spooky. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Gay? Yeah? I feel like I'm about to get jump scared. Whoa. This ringing is making me feel disoriented. Do you all feel the same way? There we go. That's better. Can you hear me now? Yes. How did you get inside my house? I found you in my bathroom this morning. How did you get inside my house? Mary? Is your name Mary? I need you to listen to me. I found your wallet and I just want to make sure. Is your name Mary? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Have you got any allergies I can... I can make you something? It doesn't say on here. Do you have any allergies? Is there anyone that you want me to call? Your mum? Anyone? No one. Do you remember what happened? Last night? Do you remember what happened last night? Uh, she's just gonna keep shaking her head, Noah. This one of those things? One of them ones? Wait, she does Mary. remember. What happened last night? This is trippy so far. Sometimes when they zoom in real close on the eyes, I want to see if I can see the camera and the reflection. Does anybody else do that? Like, I want to see people filming in the pupils. I'm weird like that. I always want to find little things, like little fuck-ups. Like a microphone at the top or something. I don't know. Uh-oh. They say that when there's a full moon, people act up on some werewolf type shit. Do y'all believe that though? I mentioned that in a previous video that full moon got people acting up. Look it up. Oh shit, who's chasing her? I'm freaked out. I'm freaking out. I don't want to get jump scared by somebody chasing her, please.
I never understood why people leave keys somewhere around their house. But then I forget that people forget where their keys are. So they want to have like a, like a fail safe place. You know? What? <gasps> oh shit! God damn that bitch look like he's seen some things. Please, no. Please don't be somebody standing in the hallway. I can't. I can't. What are you going to do with that? You're not going to do shit with that. Oh, fuck. I'm already getting nervous. I hate stuff like this. I really do. I would have tried to find a gun. Fully loaded, you know? Put a clip. And a little sticky icky. Shit. Damn, I mean, it's going to be easy to spot this dude if he had a gun because he had a clean, bald head. Big, bald head. Big, bald bitch. This is a one-take J situation. Like, this person really going through the halls. No. I would have closed the bathroom door at least. Closed it, locked it, maybe stood on top of the toilet, and then just backed myself into the corner. I would leave nothing open. That's just me, though. Like, how would you defend yourself in that situation? She was smart grabbing the knife. But come on now. Uh-oh. Throw the knife at the face. 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 Throw the knife at the face! Jesus Christ! What is that person gonna do? I mean, it does look freaky as shit. I would karate kick that bitch in the face so fast. I wish. Nah, they're really there. They're really there. Disappear, disappear, disappear. If they don't disappear at this point, they're really there. Fuck. God, that is creepy. It looks animated and real at the same time. You got the knife. Just, you know, just a little, a little bit of that. Like you're cutting a, a steak. It's that easy, just t -t 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 -t. Wait, 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 don't tell me. Oh crap. Seriously thick bleach. <laughs> Why would you? If anything poured in this person's eyes! They haven't blinked in years! Homie's still there, I promise you. Oh, don't. Don't. Are you gonna stab yourself in the ear? What are you doing? What are we getting into? <laughs> Fuck! What is, what is happening? What is happening? The camera stopped. But what is happening though? Can somebody answer that? Wait a minute. Is the person not really there? I think that's what's happening. I think she was seeing things. Okay, look. Doctors will be here in a minute. They'll know the best way to handle this. I'm going now. I'm gonna leave the room. But I'll come back. That person's gonna come back. I think. Well, no, because that would mean if she was seeing things, she wouldn't be able to see that person. So how would she know who is standing right in front of her? Right? Unless she's going to imagine that she feels the presence of that person. 
But what do I know? Maybe this person exists. Because as soon as she stabbed herself in the ear and put the bleach in her eyes, there was nobody standing in the bathroom anymore. Okay, there you go. She's going to take it off. Shit. Oh, no. She's going to open it and see the guy. Right? Please. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Guys, she scared me too. God. Yeah. So that person is definitely not there. But she can't stop seeing them. Kind of reminds me of that movie It Follows. Where the person kept following them. No matter what happens. What? Hold on. She saw something at the end there. And I feel like there was something there that we should have seen. Is she seeing herself as that? Is that how she sees herself? What do you all think happened right there? What do the comments of this video think happened right there? New season of One Punch Man is looking a bit different. Come on, bro. So the person who created this responded to this comment. This person said, I honestly interpreted this as a woman with schizophrenia. And she tried to escape the hallucinations by harming herself. However, the hallucinations are still there. In my opinion, that's why she kept seeing the creepy figure and why she was hearing the breathing. Thus, that's why she burned her eyes, stabbed her ears, and even smacked herself upside the head multiple times. She wants the visual and auditory hallucinations to stop, and unfortunately, it's not uncommon for people with schizophrenia to go through moments like this. She tried running away, she tried closing her eyes repeatedly, she even tried to harm herself, but ultimately can't escape your own mind. And then the guy Finn Callen said, you're almost right. So whatever this person said, they almost hit the nail on the head. But that's going to do it for this episode of Reacting to these Scary Animations. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.